Let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another edition of the Brown Holy Water Podcast. It's your boy, Real Talk Marv. We have some beautiful guests in the building. As always, I have my team introduce themselves. Who you I got in the building with me? You already know it's your boy, Black Success. Uh, the homie lies somewhere else. I wanted to fire him, so he's talking to HR. He might be back next week, might not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pulling for you, La. Who else is in the building? Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> Hi, I'm Z from Long Island. Um, this is my first time, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, she doesn't really need in- in- any introductions, <laughs> but we'll let her introduce herself anyway. Hey, guys, good night. It is Makisha. I am back. I'm for the third time. This is my tree peat. <laughs> she got her Chicago Bulls on. Hey. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. You know, so we're going to jump right into it. Ladies, you know, we're going to be all up in your business tonight. Oh, so Lord Jesus. It's not for the week of hearted. I don't think you should share that anymore. <laughs> so, uh, we, our first topic is going to be something that, you know, people are guilty of a lot doing. I think we do it a lot towards celebrities and other stuff, but sometimes you do it to regular people too. And this topic is counting other people's coins, <laughs> right? Because we always kind of like, that dude broke, he frightened, or that dude don't really get that bag. So the first question is, why do people count other people's money? Considering you, what can you, insinuating what you can or can't afford, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ladies first. <laughs> oh, I guess that's me. We're going to let you, yeah. <laughs> um... So it's why do they count other people's, why do people count other people's coins, right? Um, I think possibly because people envy what others have. They're envious. Um, It could be for many different reasons. Um, They could just envy the person that you are. So everything that you have is a problem for them, or they want to watch it, or they want to see that. Um, it could be your personality, the way people receive you, the amount of money you make, all those kinds of things. Um, and I think that's probably the main thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other reasons. Um, that envious and, I guess, jealousy. They yeah. just want I, I, I think it's also because people want to people wanna feel good, right? So people want to know... There's a reason why this person's flossing, but they fronting. They ain't doing that good because people don't want to see people shining above them. Mm-hmm. What What about you, Tanya? What do you oh. think? Um, I think oh. a lot of it has to do with comparing yourself to people on your level. Mm-hmm. You, most times, celebrities are usually like out of like, okay, I don't make that type of money. I'll probably never get get to that level. Whatever. Then you get to people in your own peer group, your own circle, somebody. You can sit on your level. It's kind of like, all right, well, you're in the same level, but you seem to be doing a little better than me. All right, well, you're doing better, but you're not spending your money right. And my thing is, you don't work for that person's money. You don't know the time they put in. You don't, you don't know the sweat, blood, and tears they put in to get it. You don't know if they get it legally, e- illegally, what they had to risk, what they have to lose, who is yeah. sick, who's supporting the family. So it's like for you to sit and decide you know how somebody else should spend their money. Yeah. It's like you get your check every two weeks, and then somebody else is just telling you, okay, well, you you put X, Y, Z, this, 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 and you're like, but it was my 40 hours and my 80 hours. How the hell are you going to tell me what to do with my 80 hours? Exactly. I, I always say, <laughs> what you eat don't make me shit. What you drink don't make me piss. So I stay in my own lane. I, I feel comfortable. I shine the way I need to shine. You know, some people get Rolexes and start shitting on you. Some start, people. Start showing you their wrists all of a sudden. <laughs> so we're going to ask Mr. Black Success, why do other people, why do people count other people coins? Um... I don't know why they do it, but I do know what it means. It means that you ain't getting no money your damn self. I feel like it's a difference. It's a, it's a difference when you, when someone is counting your, your, your ducats compared to you saying what your ducats are. Yeah. You understand? I shouldn't be interested in what's in your, your wallet. But I could question if you claim you got money, but then when we get in a bottle of Henny, you throwing five instead of ten. It's kind of <laughs> skeptical. It make me it make me wonder, you know, where is this money that that we're speaking of? You know what I mean? I have a question for you. But even so, I'm sorry. 
some people I know mm-hmm. will like shit on someone because they like a buttered bagel or they wear Converse mm-hmm. or they drink Poland Spring Water instead of that eight dollar BS. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, why do we judge other people if they live moderately? Tanya, you, before you answer that, Tanya was gonna say something. I cut I it off. I can't remember what the hell I was gonna I'm say. I'm sorry. So. But oh, I was gonna say it's like, and then social media made it ten times worse. Cause now it's mm-hmm. easy to see people live, yeah. and I have never seen so many six figure making niggas until I got to Instagram. Everybody's winning on <laughs> social media. Everybody winning. That's like the Wizard of Oz. Nobody makes fifty thousand no more. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nobody is like. And, and the, the funny thing is, people don't realize. People appreciate the person who is owning up to their come up. Listen, I started at X, but I got to this position. Yeah. People admire people who build rather than everybody just came up one day, every fucking body rich. Yeah. Everybody's rich. Like yeah. every there is not a person. What what killed me is so many Ferragamo belts and all of these crazy Valenciaga shoes, Javinci, Javanchi jeans. And I, these are coming from people on the train. Yeah, on the train. Don't tell nobody the train song. No, I, I like, never seen them going to work. You know what I'm saying? So I just, we live in that world. But you know, you answer the question about shitting on people who like butter bagels and Converse's and, and, and regular it's water. Never, it's never about shitting on you. It's just that you you gotta understand one thing about see money. One thing about money, because I know a lot of motherfuckers that's really getting it. You can't hide it. You gonna do something with it. You either getting a nice car, a nice crib. You either gonna dress fly. You understand? Or else you're going to have a, you're just going to travel the motherfucking world. You're yeah. going to do one of the four, two of the four, three of the four. If you really got it, all four. But it's no way you're going to do none and talk about you got it. just don't make any any sense. So people like that, that's talking like they got it. Yeah. Every Facebook group that I was in, I swear to God, everybody made six. Everybody six figures was the, this, this shit had to be the starting salary. I'm like, what the fuck y'all doing? I'm a counselor. <laughs> I'm okay telling a motherfucker I don't make six. I don't make six. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. My little party shit I'm doing, I, you, I don't make six, though. That's yeah. not my base salary. Let's let yeah, play yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. up right now. Yeah. But I'm just like, where? You where might have everybody? to hustle to get to the six, but the base ain't and then, and then And then my thing is that even the people that talk this money shit, because sometimes people just, people don't really got it, but they want it to look like it. So they might go get a nice car, and then lunchtime, they just don't want to eat. They supposedly not hungry. <laughs> Dog, we've been here eight hours, bruh. You need something in your tummy. Like, that's this the, the way the body noodles works. come in. The 10 cent <laughs> ramen noodles will hold you that's down. No if you got a, a nice infinity with heated seats that you bragging about, and you barely got gas and Roman noodles... <laughs> Maybe it's time to get that I'm basic not Corolla. Ramen you know noodles like my guilty pleasure, so I eat that even if I can. You go too get pretty it. for <laughs> you are too pretty for Roman noodles. Let me know you. Let me tell no, you right like, now. That's one of my guilty pleasures mm-hmm. that I gotta you, fight not to eat it. You was too cute for that, Ma. Go get, at least get some dollar rice from the freaking Chinese store. Yeah. Work your way up. Yeah. But another thing we gotta think about. Uh, to quote God, um, Baby Boy, is guns and butter. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some people don't want to put all their money into liabilities that you see. I, I feel the people who bragging to you how much they're getting it mm-hmm. is usually insecure, and they put all of what they do have into just show you that social media shine, but mm-hmm. they don't really got shit in the background. I remember one time somebody came at me because they say, I don't have a car. It's like, oh, you claim you make so much money, or you see Nick makes so, so much money, but you don't have a car. I'm like, I don't have a car because, one, I don't need one. Yeah. You can get away with that in New York. Mm -hmm. And especially New York, we got the MTA, which is not not reliable, (laughs) but for the most part, it gets you from point A to B. Now we got all these different apps coming up, Uber, whatever. Mm -hmm. Me, how I work and go to school, I am, if I got a car now, it will literally be parked six and a half days of the week. Why would I want to pay XYZ money on on insurance payment, XYZ money on the car payment, and never drive it? That is, why why am I coming in my pocket seven, eight, nine hundred dollars to impress y'all? I don't like you. I like y'all. I don't like you. Plus, let's keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it funky. Then then I'm in Brooklyn, you gotta get alternate size parking, get a hookah. That's crazy. Finding parking is crazy. Especially when it's cold, finding parking is crazy. crazy. But let's keep it funky. Beautiful women get picked up all the time. That's too. Yeah, how many good. times, good. How many times are good. y'all really driving? Yeah, like, yo, if y'all yo, have yo. to pick up y'all dude, y'all feel he's a bum dude eating butter bagels and y'all, yeah. y'all not really messing yeah. with him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you bad, you all right. You ain't, you ain't gonna need no car. You good, man. I you don't see the bus. Ex- I have every excuse for you not having a car. Shit. If you <laughs> ugly, bitch, you should be driving. <laughs> not only that, pretty girls don't pay their own Uber or Lyft. You know what I'm saying? 
But most you of know, the time, you know, I'm scared of any girl that take MTA at night. Like if she just leave Son. your friend <laughs> and she'd be like, "Oh no, I'm gonna write the trace section right there." Right? I'm I'm skeptical. Like how how you so used? To, how is this normal to you right now? Like why is someone not I driving? I feel guilty you home? if I if I let a woman take the train home. Yeah. You know, I know. So if you comfortable with it, if you're comfortable, then fuck it. I want you to be in your natural habitat. Sometimes sometimes I drive out of my way to drop somebody off because I just I just don't feel right alone. You left my presence. That's a form of chivalry too. Yeah. Making sure the woman is okay. So um, the second part of the question is, how do you feel about people telling you how to spend your money? Bye. They didn't help you earn. Bye. I'm going to give you, know. you an example. Sorry. My mom was, was telling me, because I got the worst car out of all of my siblings. My siblings got Benzes, Infinity, all that. My mom, I got a little Toyota Highlander, or whatever. She's just like, when are you going to change your car? Mom bought my car two years ago. It's not fancy like my siblings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she's like, oh, you work too hard to drive a car like that. You know so Toyota and Lexus, same, same shit. Yeah, but, you know, like, <laughs> exactly. like, like the question was saying, you know, people want to tell you how to spend your money. So how do you feel about that? I, I mean, I hate it. Because everybody got different. We all got different mindsets. We all value different shit. You exactly. understand? That's true. Some people might tell you, like me, when I first, I, like I just started driving. I never was a driver. Yeah. I always been driven around because I was the dude. I'm the dude you need to go to the club, to go to the, I'm the face. I never yeah. really needed a car. All my friends just drive me around. You know okay. what I mean? So, so you're like, the male equivalent of the pretty girl, but just not a Yeah, I just, I just <laughs> was the, I was the motherfucking VIP card. Yeah, yeah. So, so when I when I did have to drive because my fucking job I was getting off like four or five in the morning I'm like nah bro this you can't take the A train at this time it's yeah. dangerous see and this shit take two hours to come too they want to book you for your watch right stuff. right boom 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 right so <laughs> motherfucking um when I when I did get a car I was like yo you know everybody telling me what kind of car to get and they all motivating me and I'm like yo bro I, I'm gonna go get a Hyundai they was like why. I said, because I want to buy it. You feel me? I'm going to pay insurance for six months at a time, and I want to own the car. I don't got to pay nobody. I can just drive all fucking day. Yeah. Like, I don't like dudes that get nice cars that they got to oh, they gotta still to, they, they gotta stick to like 10,000 miles for the year. Yeah. Bro, you're going to drive yeah. more than 10,000 exactly. miles, bro. <laughs> bro, I do, I, honestly, every month I'm doing, I'm averaging about 2,500, 3,000 3, miles. Yeah, Guaranteed. Yeah. I drive hard, mm-hmm. too. That's you know, I got to bug out. Sometimes I just drive to, like stressfully. I just, yeah. you know, I got to hide. I, yeah. yo, I, I feel all the bumps, though. I, I mean, I but I, I just be all the shit. I, I got to be honest with you, right? Mm-hmm. I, I never said this before. You know, hearing the shit he talks when I first met him, and then I seen the car he drive, I was a little confused by it. <laughs> but getting to know his mentality, <laughs> I understood the long play. You got, you got but from the it. from the shit he talked before I really knew him like that, it's like this dude drive a Hyundai <laughs> and he talks that shit. But I understand your placement I own it. of I can it. Sell my exactly. Shit right now. Exactly. Because I cause I'd rather I rather put my money towards things that that actually holds up. Right yeah. now, yeah. gold is up. Yeah. Rolexes mm-hmm. is up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, cribs is up. Mortgages exactly. is up. Yeah. Yeah. So it like that's where my money is. You understand? Know like that kind of yeah. stuff I got. Yeah. But as far as cars, I wanna wait till I really got it, got it mm-hmm. to really get that. To really get a nice car. Because you gotta understand, my shit, if I fuck up a fucking uh what you call that, uh a rim? you know, I I barely know cars and shit. If I fuck up one of them um the things, what you call that? You know, yeah, one of them the things, things and shit, right? <laughs> to fix my car, it's 80 a uh, fucking hydraulic or whatever that shit is, right? Yeah. My shocks. shit is shocks. shocks. Yeah, 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 shocks. Yeah. My shit is eighty dollars. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. If I got a Benz, Benz that shit like that shit fifteen hundred yeah. and you go around, yeah, so that's yeah. a six thousand dollar fix. Yeah. yeah. Dog, I ain't got it. Let me tell you right. No, let me be honest with me. <laughs> I ain't listen, dog. <laughs> you know, we gotta have some misunderstandings at the fucking best deal. So and, and, and it's See, tough. That's why I would lease those, though. Yeah, that's why yeah. I would lease those. Yeah, you lease luxury cars. Is, the dumbest thing you could do is own it. It's hard for me. It goes both ways. But you know, black mm-hmm. people because judge when you lease, but you gotta lease. You yeah, gotta but lease see, I have, I have a car, my car that I own, mm-hmm. and then I have a lease car. So it goes like, the car that I have is to use for work and things like that. And then the lease car I got because my whole thing was... If I could have bought it if I wanted, but I just, I didn't want to have to worry about no maintenance, like what you're right. saying. I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't want one day to come and be like, oh, you got to change your brakes, it's $700. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing. And I that have the ma- I negotiated months. maintenance package and all the wheel package and yeah. all this stuff. So even already, I, my car is fairly new. I had to change the tire already. I had to change, uh, I got a crack in the windshield. So it's like things like that that's usually covered with all that. And that's why I lease. 
that's but not. at the same time, I'm like, damn, leasing is kind of like a waste of money because you just giving it to them only to give them back the car. To give them right back. To give back it right back. Car. So it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. And that's, why, that's like, why when I they broke it. that shit down to me, I was like, yeah. I want to buy my car. Like yeah. at least my first car, I want to buy yeah. it. I want to know what it is to own it. Yeah. I can fuck it up, crash it, and keep it pushing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how my, that, but that's how my other car is. And mm. this one, this is my first time leasing, so I'm like, let me try it out. And I drive a lot. Mm-hmm. I've been driving that car. I've I've been doing both. Like. And I do put miles, and I'm like, shit, I can't sit here watching mileage, like you said. So I know that. But this is my first time, so I'm like, let me try it out, see mm. how it is. And then um, and then it's like, if I like it, then I may do it again. Because the mm. other plus side is then you always change your car. You always have That's, a new car. If you're yeah. a person that gets tired of the same thing all the time, mm. you can switch. Yeah, that, that, So it just depends on like the person and what works for you. I'm sorry, you Ma. Know? I just want to shout you out real quick. Your name is Z from, from Long Island, yes. right? Z, Zuleika, that, short for Zuleika. Zuleika, that's yeah. a great name. Thank you. That haircut does not work for. You know, I feel like you got to be pretty. I, I'm to, sorry, this is inside. No, no, this is inside, right? I got you. I just want to pull it off. You got to be pretty to pull it off. That is beautiful. Thank you understand you, that? You, yes. That is beautiful. You actually look better than your actual picture. Because what happens is, I had a homegirl one time. She didn't know about the hairdo, but mm-hmm. she cut her hair first and oh, then God. asked, like, uh-huh. how does she look? And I was yeah. like, yo. Was you that hair straight like a bitch strawberry? You the truth? <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Shorty, you got a dog, shorty. That shit. A blue so strawberry head. It, it, it is, it is a, it's, it's a beautiful thing when you got the head for it. I think females get that confused. They think, like, no, this is just a new hairdo. No, mm-hmm. you need the head for that hairstyle, and I mm-hmm. think you got the head for that hairstyle, <laughs> and it fits you well. Marv, I'm sorry. We're going to let you get back to that. I, I actually want to give Tanya a chance to answer the question. How do you feel about people telling you how to spend your money and that they didn't help you earn? This is the story of my life. This is the story of my life. People always counting my money. Like, they always try to put two and two together and make six and kind of figure out where she getting this from, where she getting that from. Yeah. I live simply, but my thing is this. If you don't have to live with the decision or the consequence of me spending my dollar, you shouldn't be bothered by it. Mm-hmm. You understand? You don't have to live with the consequence of me buying a car. You don't have to live with the consequence of me leasing a car. You don't have to live with the consequence of me renting. So don't tell me, oh, it's better to rent than own. This is how I feel about the situation. I have my life. I have my life design. I know my income. I know how my money flows. And I have also have my goals. Me, personally, I want to put my money in something that appreciates in value. Yes. How does this go up? Cars go down. That's another mm-hmm. reason why I'm not pushing myself to get the car, because I'll be paying money up front for something that goes down with time. And I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a hurry to get mm-hmm. that. Right now, my goal by my next birthday is to get my house. Okay. And I will Uber my life away until I own my house. And then when I get my house, I'll decide if it makes sense to get a car at that point in time. And then I'll make the decision. Yeah. And that's what my work ethic is designed around. Mm. But don't tell me that also while I'm working hard, I can't even enjoy it. Like, mm-hmm. if I go on vacation, is an issue. Sis, why? Bro, mm-hmm. why? Yeah. <laughs> why? I bust my ass. I put my time in. I yeah. work more than 40, but well, 60 hours a week. Yeah. Why are you going to tell me, oh, you shouldn't do this, or you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't say that? Get the, get the hell out of here. You don't have to live in my decision, yeah. you don't, so don't tell me how to spend my money. P- people mm-hmm. who give out the most advice usually shit stink, you know what I mean? Yeah. Their stuff is not in yeah. order. But you know what? They, they get a chance to view from the sideline and be like, yo, you're doing such and such. Why are you not doing such and such? You know, you should be doing better. You should be shining. And then you ask, okay, what you working on? Well, you see, you <laughs> see I'm changes. trying to go back to school and, you know. Uh, 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 exactly. It's so. too much losers giving advice. That's, <laughs> that's basically what Marv's saying. It's too much losers giving advice. We want advice from people that have won. Yeah. We want to see championship rings. Like my man Tiny that's on his way. We want to see championship <laughs> rings so that we can know we're taking advice from people that's actually Winning. won. Exactly. We want to know you actually won something. You yeah. know what I mean? Everyone... Success should be the, the the motivator for you to give advice. My dude. If, and those are the only people I listen to. If you don't got no to. success, what? it's kind of just like you talking out of your ass. Just, and on that talking. note, I want to just highlight, like, there's a big difference between advice and opinion. A lot of people mm. like to give their opinion, claiming they're giving you advice. Yes. Like, for example, mm. I would text my friend a dress. Like, you think this dress is fly? Bitch, I can't wear that! First of all, I didn't ask you if you would wear it. That's your opinion. <laughs> you know me. You know my taste. You know my body type. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, what's your advice? You advise me to get it based on how it look on me? <laughs> because the question is, how would this dress look on me? Right. Yeah. 
Why are you telling me how you feel about the dress? Sis, mm. I ain't asked you to wear it. Yeah. So stop giving me your opinion and give me advice. Yeah. People, a lot of people mix that up. Like, you go to somebody for advice, well, uh, if it was me, I would. I'm not asking you if it was you. Yeah. I trust that you know my personality, you know my ways, my traits enough. To be like, all right, well, I'm thinking like you right now, T, and I think you would do this because it works for this. I want an outside opinion that's similar to mine, opposed to, well, if it was me, I would. No. I, I have a friend, me, her, I stop asking her for advice because every time I ask her for advice, she always gives me an opinion. Yeah. Mm. Always gives me her opinion. I'm, I'm going to move on to the next topic. I'm actually going to uh, change things around. I usually wait a little later to ask the wild card question, but I'm going to ask the wild card question Already? now. And I want to <laughs> say Mr. Black Success motivated my wild card question, right? So, so it's two <laughs> because, weeks in a row, you heard? Yo, because <laughs> early in the morning, you know, I have bad sleeping patterns. So I woke up. It's like five, it was like 5 in the morning. It was, it was like 5 in the morning. And then, you know, bad girl Tanya puts out beautiful pictures all the time, beautiful visuals. How you doing? So I liked one of her pictures. I actually hearted one of her pictures, right? And then five, literally two seconds later, Mr. Black Success says, Oh, you a savage, Ma. Why are you up 5 in the morning hearting? I'm like, first of all, that's my much. business, dude. Second of all, you watching another man heart a woman think so you so anyway, I'm gonna bring it all in. Right? My wild card question is, have you ever stalked a person or been stalked? Twenty four seven, three sixty five. So, um and to be honest with you, to 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 get a better honest answer from you guys, because maybe pride might not allow you to use the term stalk, have you ever lurked? I think in social media age, people more feel realize that they're lurking more than necessarily stalking. But it, it, it all calls, it all falls under the same umbrella, right? So, bad girl, I'll let you go first because you feel like I you have a degree in larkology. Listen a, a to me. Degree in larkology. <laughs> <laughs> I got a degree in larkology. Listen, listen to me. I could if. My friends call me the Black Nancy Drew. I can find something out from social media. I can tell you how Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, all those those stuff work. I told, I put my friend on the other day. I was like, listen, you know somebody's been on your page, even though they don't like something. How you know? It's like there's an algorithm in Instagram, right? If somebody's in your network and they come to your page and pull it up, and then they just continue scrolling. When you sign in your page refreshes, their post comes up. They might have posted 10 hours ago, two days ago, their post comes up. And the reason if Facebook and Instagram does this because they want to keep people who are active with you on your on your line. feet, your timeline. That's how I be knowing who be on my page. That's the intelligence. Listen, listen. Just listen. boom. <laughs> I'm like, you, 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 you got to help people become better stalkers, <laughs> yo. I'll push y'all on. Wow. I don't know how to pull up a page and not double tap. Come on. Wow. Come on. And if, you, and if you like something by accident, leave the like. Rule of thumb. If you like something by accident, while you lurking, leave the like. You raise a red flag when you unlike it. Really? And somebody like, and then when you got, if you got an iPhone, you swipe down. Whether they, they delete it or not, the like is still there. So take the L, leave the like. Just wow, that's science. You got to be careful I'm gonna, you lurking. You, before, before you continue, we need you to introduce <laughs> you yourself. Really oh, and hi. then you can answer the question. Okay, I'm Toy. Toy. Y'all. Okay. How y'all doing? Toy from where? From Coney Island. Okay, Coney Island. Okay, Coney Island, the building. You heard? You already know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the full question. You kind of walked in when I was asking the question. I was, question, I was listening have you ever, on the way okay, up. Have you ever been stalked, or have you ever stalked a person? Oh, <laughs> I would love to hear examples of when you stalked a person. So I'll let you come back to that because we all stalk people. I don't know if our pride allows us to. There's different levels. And yeah, because you, 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 you might, this, yeah. Yeah. You might you drive by somebody's no, house a couple of times until you realize, yo, yo, I'm stalking shorty, yo. Why, why am I in her neighborhood <laughs> seeing that she home, seeing for cars there, you know what I'm saying? And that stalker type behavior. But yeah, go ahead, right. answer that question. I have stalked. Okay. I have stalked. I have done drive-bys. Of course. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have. I've called and been like, oh, you ain't answering the phone? Okay. It's I'm funny how your light by. just went out. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sure I, I have stalked. I'm not going to lie. I have. Okay. Do you have any, like, you know, crazy stories of stalking or, uh, like, getting caught stalking and having to play it off? I caught somebody. Stalking you? <gasps> no, no, no. I caught somebody i caught someone i don't want to say their name i caught someone yeah i went by their ex's house okay 
and I caught their car in front of the house. Oh, nah. And it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And You're not doing taxes day. at 3 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Hold on, you don't know what they're doing. Man. Nah, <laughs> you're not doing taxes <laughs> at 3 in the morning, man. I wanted, I, and it's crazy because I, I was sitting in front of the house, and I was like, it's three oh, I'm going to You know how you angry It's three in the morning texting. and she's sitting in front of the house. When so you, you, you was on your you, stalking shit too, though. Yeah, I was. I was stalking. <laughs> I'm saying. I, and I, you know how when you you angry texting? Yeah. Like, this motherfucker. And, Do it you right know? here. And you texting back. I was texting him a text. He don't know who you messing with. Oh, yeah, I was sending him a text. And... The next thing I knew, I saw him come out the house. But I had, by this time, I done turned my li- my lights off on my car and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting and I'm watching him. He comes out the house and he walks to the corner. He calls me. So my phone starts ringing and I'm like, oh, this motherfucker came outside to make a phone call. So yeah. I'm, I answer the phone. I'm so like, So he definitely What's wasn't up? doing taxes if he had <laughs> oh, no, 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 to no, observe no, privacy. No, no. You he know what I'm saying? He wasn't doing taxes. So I'm like, um. He like, what's up, babe? I'm like, what's up? I ain't drinking that shit. He was like, you got to drink a little bit no, of the brown holy water. No, no, no. You know just a, just a little bit. I see you got your, your healthy apple, lemon, cayenne, ginger stuff. Yes. But you got to drink, drink a little bit. He drink $8 bit. water. I drink $8 <laughs> juice. I hear that. Oh, I hear that. Tell the green. Nah, but he came outside and he was like, babe, I was, um, what you do? What, what's up? And I said, What's up, babe? What you doing? And he was like, I wasn't doing nothing. I was at this barbecue <gasps> with my man, so and so. So I'm like, Oh, you at a barbecue? Where you at? Now I'm watching him. Yeah. He was like, um, Yeah, I'm at a barbecue. Now say he said, I'm on East Flatbush and such and such. And I'm yeah. like, You on East Flatbush? He's yeah. like, Yeah, I'm on East Flatbush and so and so. I'm like, Babe, you sure you on East Flatbush? And he's like, yeah, now now he's looking around. He's like, like yeah, where is like, she? Yeah, I'm on East Flatbush. He's about to so be in a like, get-out situation. I said, he damn sure was. I almost <laughs> hit him with my car that day. Yeah. He was like, um, I said, so I said, um, you sure you want East Flatbush? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I said, you was a lying motherfucker. Mm. And then I p- turned my lights on and pulled up on him. Oh. And he was like, Toy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you don't know it was a mess. Was what a mess. what, what didn't you I can understand? Laugh about it. I almost hit him with my car that night, though, but now I can laugh about it. <laughs> tell, tell me the time. Because you um, seem so nice and polite, but I know you have to have some stalker <laughs> in you. Okay. Everybody got well, some stalker well, okay. in you. So I don't really have the social media stuff. Like, I'm just, I'll go, if I did look at something, it would be so quick. And then I'm like, I'm tired of scrolling through right. shit. Let me so give you an I, example of a I, social I, media stalking, just uh-huh. okay. If you created a fake oh, no, no, no. page, oh, no, 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 one time, one of my exes, a long time ago, mm-hmm. I did go to his house in the middle of the night with my cousin, and we were Damn, parked you got in the back car. Up. When you got back up, that means you know some shit was cooking, and you're like, I can't wait till the morning to get to, to know him. We parked answers. in the car, waited till he came, but the thing is, he was out, so when he came up the block, I was like, oh shit, he's going to notice my car. Yeah. So like, I leaned all the way back, and... He never came specifically to see um, and see me yeah. or saw me, but he. There was a time where he said, real brief, he was like, "Oh, some people want to be night crawling and shit." Oh, so, so he head, beat I'm you. Like, oh, he he probably, beat you. He, <laughs> he saw you. He saw you. <laughs> but like, um, that's pretty much it for the most part. Like, I mean. It's just, it'll be like a lurk here or there. And if I'm not involved with you and you're not my man, it's really not gonna happen like that. It's not. I'm very laid back She's and ask all her the things way don't, late. Things She's don't like, get to me like that. Look, I just can't deal with this, you know. Yeah. She's very like, I just, I can't. She's, yeah, I'm like, I don't have the patience to deal back. with this. Let me go home. So now, <laughs> like, now, now we need to hear more of the fellas' examples of stalking. So, oh, so they, black. They black. Do. Who's I can tell we, you we, we do know. Stalk. We know. Black. Our pride Listen. won't admit to it, but we know. Listen, jeez. No, black boy acted like this was a girl's question. That's annoying and as aggressive as this man is. If he tells me he never stalked, he's Bullshit. You know, it, it's not that I never stalked, but you know, 
I'm, I'm no longer a stalker. Yeah, but we're talking about have you ever. Hey, this is a have you yeah, ever question. You know, I, I used to, you know, and not even because I had to, just because it's something wrong with me, son. It's okay. really, I'm really special ed somewhere. <laughs> not with the books. Like, I'm real, I'm real smart. Yeah, but we know about your GPA. But... With behavior, yeah, my GPA. And, you know, there's only one person with a 5.0, but, you Jesus know, Christ. that's neither here nor there. Yeah. But, like, somewhere with my behavior is this special ed shit, and it's like, I, you know, I be stalking because I be wanting to know and shit. I be yeah. wanting to, like, figure things out and Your shit. Confirmation. You know? And one thing is, like, chicks is scared of stalkers. They scared of crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. So I just want to show that crazy side just to re reconfirm things. Like, yeah. ma, listen, I beat your brother up, I beat your pops. You know what I mean? And then then, then when you stalk, she like, oh, I ain't doing nothing on this nigga time. Like, this this motherfucker crazy. You know what I mean? Cheat yeah. on everybody else. Like, I ain't, I ain't a light-skinned mother motherfucker. Yeah. I'm real. This ain't live with the, with the fucking big ears. This is... <laughs> The dark skin motherfucker. All Tyrese motherfuckers are abusive. We are Ray Rice. Don't, don't this say motherfucker. that. Don't say that. I'm dark skin. I'm not abusive. Don't don't. You better, me be, you better start said, beating your motherfucking chick. Listen, chicks listen, love uppercuts. Brown holy water does listen, not support time out, time out. domestic no, violence. Me. No, it's on me. Listen, black success might love, say bullshit, but that's not a brown holy they water. They love thing. uppercuts, bro. Believe me, bro. When you hit her like this. She appreciates He's you, bro. Joking, you know what I mean? He's like joking. You, He's joking. You, Listen. you have to do this. You feel me? Yeah. If you, you don't like pack me out, she's not going to respect calm. you, bro. You feel me? You got And I'll tell you the truth. The way you really get your shorty open, beat her brother up. Because she, th her brother be talking that gangster shit. Her brother talk that gangster shit. You feel yeah. me? When you wash him up crazy, put him through the laundry, put his face in the fucking snowball and shit, she going to be like, oh, this nigga is Tupac for real. Yeah. And then you let. Then you lit, sir. You not lit. <laughs> you know, no you put, listen. Body body. I, I, I respect, I respect so coming from the brother. Sometimes lit. the pops is too old, so you might yeah, have to do the brother. Old. You got to be with a brother. I feel you on that one. No, you got to be with a brother. Before we roll out on this, you, you, you want to give us a tip of when you stalked? I know you, you, you gave us the science of stalking, like, I but I need an example of how you stalk before we move on. Um, PG-13 one. All right, so... Like years and years and years and years and years ago, my first. It's always years ago when we stopped. We never stopped recently or last week. We stopped years ago. I mm -hmm. work too much, and but years ago, like I was uh, my first fiance. Like he used to always. Now this is back home, back in Guyana. Guyana. He used to always pick me up from work like every night. Mm -hmm. Well, afternoon. So now, one afternoon, I'm calling him. He's not answering his phone. I was like, all right, well, he probably out with his brothers, hanging out, blah blah. So I'm gonna just jump in. Uh, a bus and I'll go home. Yeah. So now we go. I'm on the way home in the minibus. And how the minibus is already like higher than the cars. The it's cars like are the low. Yeah. yeah. Like the Volkswagen minibus. I in the mini wagon. Mini wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the mini. I'm in the minibus and I look to my right. There is this little big headed so and so in a car with a girl. So he's driving up the highway that we, I normally go home mm -hmm. and then I see he makes a right and then the right he makes is into like one of those popular little short stay hotels like the galaxy of Guyana oh. makes a right into the hotel I was like nah I'm going home so I went home and I'm sitting down and I was like nah I can't do this shit I, see, I saw that shit with my own two eyes so yeah. I went back <laughs> to that hotel and I came around the back and I, there was this car parked and like this is somebody who loves his car. I was about to fuck that shit. I was, I was about I to go windshield every day. Like, you should have did it. You should have did it. But I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I got so <laughs> mad. I jumped on this. I jumped. I jumped on my phone. And I exploded and I called his entire license plate out. And said, tell me why PJJ's have a nice on the <laughs> it's, it's parked. <laughs> After that voicemail went through, like about 15 minutes later, he called me. He was like, uh, baby, was me and my friend Lois, we went there to talk. Talk about what? Uh, why you got to talk in the hotel? Why you got to talk in the hotel? <laughs> Ma, ma, what? don't defend, don't defend that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody innocent till proven guilty, my G. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They could have been doing taxes. We'll leave it on that. Right? They could have been doing taxes. All right. So I'm gonna move on to the next topic. The next topic is double standards, right? Oh, I always feel like, especially as a man, I'm gonna be honest. It's just like you know, man always be like, yo, my woman can't cheat on me, but if I cheat, she gotta forgive me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just. 
That's just the law. You know what I'm saying? There's no argument with that, right? So double standards. The first question of double standards is people don't want to be cheated on when they're in a relationship, but are the first in line to sleep with another woman, husband, or wife's, another woman's husband, or another, you know, husband's wife when they're single. Why is that? Right? When we're in a relationship, we got morals, but when we're single, anybody could get it. Mm. So why is that? You know what? Well, I'm going to have Black speak first. We'll okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For the innocence of me, you know, uh, you know, as I told you guys last week, I've only been with four people. You know, uh, I'm very new go. to this. <laughs> I'm very new go. to this situation <laughs> called sex. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just... Texting this Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very new to this situation. You know, I, let me, let me get some space before lightning starts breaking <laughs> up in you. You know what it was? Back in, the, back in the day, I was ugly. Like, I wasn't... You know what I mean? I really... It's not that I'm not ugly anymore. I'm going to be like... I'm going to do this in loud presence. You still ugly, bro. You still ugly, bro. The I got you. It's not that I, I, I ain't ugly anymore, but I was uglier. You, you feel me? You, so I as, as I, I grew... You you know what I mean? God done left me at the five and six. He done left me in between the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So, like, as I as I grew, I just, you know, I I, I got a couple chances. I, I just didn't roll the dice. You understand? Yeah. So, I can't But you always had good outfits, that. though. I had great outfits my yeah. whole life. Yeah. So, that you know, I can't really speak on people doing the, the wrong things. Don't get to the Answer the you question, bro. Answer the question. <laughs> the nah, I never you did that. You don't need your biography. Never... All right, well, you know what? So, I right, fuck it then. You know, back in the day when I was single, you know what I mean? Uh... Yeah, a couple wives got it, you know? Yeah. And not because, sometimes it depends on the dude. You yeah. know, if I know the dude and he's an asshole, too cocky, yeah. I'm going to fuck his wife. Yeah. You know, not because I, not because I really wanted to fuck his wife, but because I just wanted to, like, one day when he talking crazy, I just want to look at him like, boy, be humble, my shit. You know, you, I just want to give him that look. Casanova said that, you know what I'm saying? How dudes would just take, try to get at your just girl. Just because. Just because. Just because. Really, really because of you. So it, it depends on how you talk, how you talk on my fucking timeline. You yeah. talk crazy and you're shorty in my inbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That goes both ways. So, so you, you tell us. That goes <laughs> both ways because a lot of times dudes don't realize that they hot because of who they with. It's not <laughs> that. You're not like That you is such with, a fact. Yes. You with such somebody a fact. that <laughs> everybody else want. Chicks will come at you and want to and want to fuck you, want to do whatever with you, willing to suck your dick, whatever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because <laughs> you with this chick and they feel like she's she's that chick and like, well, I feel like I'm on her level because she he's her, she's his girl or mm -hmm. whatever like that. So they yeah. feel like chicks will chicks do it all the time. Mm. All the time. What about I think the question is have you done it? That's no, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with nobody husband. I I have a very mm -hmm. strict rule. All my friends know I don't play with people's husbands. Yeah. I don't want nobody's boyfriend. I don't play that game. When I was single, I didn't care if you had a boyfriend. I don't. But I if don't you had a husband, husband yeah, I respected different. the sanctity of marriage. No, I don't play that game. I don't play that game. Girlfriend, boyfriend, that, that's just play games. That's husband. play games. Husband and wife is different. Husband, husband and wife is different. Mm -hmm. She will tell you I'm very strict on that. I don't play with people, boyfriends, husbands, none of that. I feel like. Respect somebody else's. You never know. A person might be all the way crazy for mm -hmm. their husband yeah. or their wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you, you gotta respect it. If yeah. they flip all the way out on you and really like kill your ass for fucking with their husband or fucking yeah. with their wife, this happened a lot of times. You, it or does. You even see yeah. on these talk shows they be throwing all kind of acid and lying whatever. First forty eight. A lot of first forty eights is because of that bullshit. <laughs> oh they got time for acid. Up shit. Yeah. I don't want to be burnt up. Okay. <laughs> What about you, Z? Um, I think that, because you said why do people, are they okay with it? I don't think everyone's okay with it. There's a lot of people who aren't okay with it. And um, I could say in the past I've done dealt with people who I probably shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But I think it was one time that someone was married. But after that, I was like, I felt like So you've been the other woman before. Uh, but Expand on that. It's okay. It sort of was, but I was I didn't want a relationship. Like it wasn't like a thing like that. It was probably only sexual. Yeah. You know, and that was something that I was like, oh, I would never do this. Thing. I would never do it again. And I haven't. I have never done that again since then. And I agree as far as the husband. You should make you know, every mistake twice. Don't 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 stop at once. <laughs> you gotta know that you was wrong. <laughs> the first time you made it, thought you was wrong. That second time.
can tell you knew you was wrong. <laughs> Every mistake twice. That's how you really know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't don't limit yourself. All right? I'm trying to get you. But no, like, like chop by young sushi. Um, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Let, let her finish up. Let her finish. Go ahead. Um, but like I agree with that now, and I feel like like. I do believe in karma, so I think things will come back to you. So, you know, I try to be the way that I would want people to be back to me, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I wouldn't say, like, if someone was married or, you know, husband, wife type of thing. Yeah. Boyfriend, girlfriend, mm, you try to stay away from it. <laughs> yeah, but, but you, you don't know. It's but still it's a little different. It's no, open season. No, no, no. It's Call not open might season. not be shit. It, it, it might be your season. job to it's take over that role. No, but... <laughs> I've been there. I can say I've been there, but yeah. I wouldn't do that again. Like yeah. it's just too much drama, too much other shit that I don't want to deal with. There's yeah. too many things that it's like I don't need to deal with this. And I and I realized that I think the only reason that I was okay with it is because it's easier for me. It's less responsibility on me yeah. of things to do. Because sometimes, you. like it I would, like that's what you mean. We don't need to be stressed out. Yeah. Yeah. Job, right? Exactly. Need to be stressed out. <laughs> yeah. like, let me but let me just let me get Tanya. Out. Let me it get Tanya <laughs> take on this. It's okay, been a while. Do you remember the question? Okay. <laughs> okay. So Tanya, Tanya looked like she got a spicy answer to this. So go ahead, Tanya. On oh, my phone, was probably like this. We should talk about somebody, baby father. What? <laughs> but, um, but I think a lot of people uh, attach themselves to situations where they're not the main person. Most times, because they've been hurt so much before, sometimes you're like, yeah. I, I'm just not in the mood right now to go through that again. Yeah. Let me just find somebody I can kick away and just relax with and chill with, with no attachments, like mm -hmm. you said, no responsibility. I ain't got to cook, I ain't got to clean, I ain't got to do nothing. We go out, we eat, we have fun, we have sex, we go home, and I don't have to worry about you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not even about, oh, the per ego or the person being married, the person being whatever, and, or, or a lot of times it is having one up on their hot girlfriend or having one up on their hot whatever, but... For the most part, I think a lot of people are like, listen, I ain't got time for this right now, but I ain't trying to be sleeping with six, seven, eight people. So I'm going to find this one person that just won't be there. Yeah. And hold on to them. And the person might have somebody in their life. They mind, I mind my business, they mind their business, and it's all good. keep it pushing. Right. You know, it's, so. sometimes it's, just, it's your situation, or sometimes people just really don't want to be in a relationship, but nobody truthfully wants to be alone. Like, yeah. nobody right. could sit here and right. tell me, oh, like I, mm -hmm. I, I go home and I'm by myself and I'm happy. No, the fuck you There's not. a lot That's of females preaching that shit. That's not yeah. it. Talking like they happy. Uh, Ma, no, it was like, cold all winter. You needed somebody to cuddle with. I mean, yeah. It feel good cuddling at night, dog. Yeah. It feel so good. Yeah. feel good. Put your feet people, on somebody and shit. Watch but, a but, movie, some fights, and some drinks, and chill. Listen, I know boyfriends and husbands. Is off the is off the you know off the radar supposedly, but supposedly. what about what about ba baby daddies? Listen, so let me say why I say that. I always say it's because I I, I always tell my friends I, I usually like guys with kids because right now I don't want to have kids. Mm -hmm. So somebody could be single, but they somebody's baby father. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, but just because they have kids, that don't give you no that, no so special so. link. Or oh, okay, like that. I'm just special link. No, but that's... you know, dude, dudes Pretty are willing cool. to shoot out I mean, if you mess with their baby moms, like, though. I mean, my son, my son's father can be with whoever he wants to be with. We're not together anymore. Mm. So whoever Preach. he's with, if I, if I, if he's with them, mm -hmm. I'm happy for him. Mm -hmm. I hope it's a good girl yeah, mm -hmm. that he can bring around my son or whatever. Like. Mm -hmm. That's not just. I think people get that twisted. Like, does she give you that? Because a lot of dudes together don't mean that. A lot of dudes, dudes like feel like when they have a child with that's the with always the woman, their joint. That's that always they, their that they're like people can't. Yo, son, you know that's that's oh, my baby mom. And motherfucker, <laughs> you remember the dude that. who jumped in the house and said, "I'm an alpha male. Yo. I'm gonna die for mine. <laughs> Are you willing to die for yours? <laughs> he was down <laughs> here. Listen, I left. I left, <laughs> my dude. Is he ready to die for the pussy? He's like, I was in jail. You ready to die for this? I am. Once he said, "Ready to die for I gotta, go. like that. I gotta go. It, it, it can't be that good. Yeah. It can't be that. Ready so to I'm gonna ask the second part of this question, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna start with Tanya, and we're gonna go back. You know, we went this way, we yeah, went back this yeah, way, right? Nothing wrong with that. And the reason why I, I, I'm glad to, to get, um, start with you because your comment should be like, "Don't be mad, sis, because I was sitting on your man's face." <laughs> you say the wildest shit, and I be loving it, right? So you kind of answered this, but have you ever slept with someone's husband or wife? And if so, why? I never slept with nobody's Knowing. wife. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, like, obviously, obviously, black's gonna answer the white question, right? But listen, 
I unfortunately have done that. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to say it, unfortunately. I, I, I think all women young. have I'm because guys be secretly single. Yes, guys, guys be married. secretly unmarried. First of all, a lot of men be Yo, married but single. I ain't yeah. snitching. I'm real talk. That's real talk. You man. Man. Yo, I ain't got nobody. I ain't, I ain't in nothing serious. And you found this, this this guy mad with three kids living home with his wife and then you, you innocently, you know, open up this nice guy. A lot of girls have gotten in that situation. And then they found out, it's like, well, I'm already so far in. Why give up now? <laughs> I mean, sometimes the dude is single in his mind. He's single in his heart. He's just not single in real life. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that don't mean shit. You're not supposed to give up, though. Give you work up. too hard. No, thank Harriet Tubman, Rosa nobody. Park, Toni Morrison. You can, I can if, keep if going. Ain't no time now, to give up. Then- that's it. It's like, okay. I but just up. for the record, it wasn't like targeted. It, it wasn't, wasn't targeted. like, it wasn't you like, kinda oh, just fell into he's the situation. married. Yeah, but sometimes you cross paths with yeah. people and, and sometimes one thing leads to another. I yeah. realize that some women, a lot, some women look for married men. Mm-hmm. So like, it's so they, they, they go after married men, which is crazy. I feel like that's, that's really fucked up. Y'all yeah. over there nodding <laughs> your heads. <laughs> <laughs> that's really fucked up. But you know what it is? Someone, I, someone told me, right, because you had said something about sometimes uh, a woman mess with you because she's seen your serious situation. Oh, yes. And so, I've had oh, women, yes. I have women literally said, I never really looked at you till I saw a picture of you and your wife. And then I said, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Mom, no, there might be yeah. something to Mom. Right. And, and, and she wasn't trying to get at me. Your wife but she, No, listen, also. listen, listen. She wasn't trying to get at me, but she said that. And I've had a couple of women kind of give that vibe. Those but are the ones you got to stay away from. Let me say this. Those are the ones trying to get one up on your shorty. Not you even. You got to protect her. Not yeah. even. Sometimes that's the thing that a lot of men don't, don't realize. Yeah. A lot of yeah. these chicks just want to have that one up on yeah. your girl. Yeah. She don't yeah. get no dick. And also, and also something I find that they might see how you treat your wife and one yeah. that treatment oh, yeah. yeah. so yeah. listen, listen. No, a yeah. lot of girls yeah. never been to no. Peter Luca I was, yeah. a lot of them never say. drank <laughs> Pellegrini water I'm <laughs> being honest I'm being honest a lot of them is used to true. BBQs Applebee's this is regular degular yeah. you know what I'm saying just like that video the man just because oh he took care of his yeah. women in his life yeah. let me try to get 5 like, for 20 pantyhose 5 for 20 yeah we know we know who you are motherfucker we know who you are motherfucker I never saw you in the video. Remember when the girl oh boy, that took you know him on the I'm date like, and she was, he was just like, get whatever you want, popcorn. Oh, we got money. He got a large. Like, Some women are used to that large. They're not used to that. Extra butter. You know what I'm saying? They used to sneaking that shit in their purse. Yeah. A lot of people got two Pepsi's. Two Pepsi's and some popcorn in the purse. So when you get the, you can have whatever you like treatment. They feel like, man. It's different. I need to upgrade. They see a nice girl and they'll see somebody or they'll see your girlfriend's pretty or she's doing like big things or doing things for herself and they're like oh what does he have that he has her that's mm-hmm. how a lot of people think mm-hmm. so they're like oh I want that he let me see dick. what he got <laughs> got let dick for her, yeah let me see yeah. what he has I want to know I want to Maybe they think that it's because of him she's like she's that. She's like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They they want to become that or something. They become investigators. So <laughs> inspect the gadget. To get back to the question, you've the never girl. knowingly slept with someone's husband. Um, Because you kind of discussed no, that one, it happened, but time, yeah. it wasn't the knowingly. Time, was it um, knowingly? Was it knowingly? She knew. Yeah, she knew. She knew. She knew. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Once you, no, no, you did the head no, tilt, no, you said hair at that time. You knew. You had hair. You knew. You cut your hair after. I did have hair. I, I know it. it. I, I did it. have hair. But I say that because I did it like that because I was like, there's a point where I didn't you and I still dealt with him. Yeah. But I'm trying yeah. to think when I found out. If yeah, but you was already in already. the situation. We did you already, go into it knowing? I don't. Actually, I might. I think I did. Okay. I think I did. Because I mean, no judgment a, here. This is what no, Brown no, Holy Water is about. No, no, it was through a friend. So it was like, it was my friend's kind of like friend. And then I found out like through my friend. Yeah. But we were kind of already talking, but it wasn't, like, serious like that. But yeah. I kept dealing with them. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's something, just like you said, like, unfortunately, I feel like I wouldn't do that again. Like, yeah. I didn't, I, when I think back and look back at those things, I feel like I don't like the feeling of it. Okay. I don't like how it made me feel, you know? So you were strong. You came in strong and hot. Mm-hmm. I don't mess with nobody, husband, my with boyfriend. She but gets, my you, had, tell you. you had, you experience made you. Like that. No, let me you did you something that was foul, and then let now you got you morals. Right? That's, that's how the game be. Talk that's how the game be. So, no, 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 no. don't tell me what your morals yeah. is now. <laughs> that's not what Brown Holy Will act. Brown Holy Will brought you to the morals, right? Because you got morals now, but you ain't know 
always have morals. So okay. Tell us what I you... always had morals. God <laughs> you know what I mean? Tell us what made you so strong about it. It had to I be something had, before. You know what? One time. Exactly. That one time. Let's I go. Was, I was like <laughs> about 19. Okay. And it was an older guy. Yeah. And he was married. Mm-hmm. I was like 19. And I, it, was, it, it was one time. Mm-hmm. And I was like... I'll never do that shit again. I, that shit bothered me. To this day, I'll be like, some little bitch is going to fuck my husband mm-hmm. when I get married. Like, mm-hmm. some little bitch, some little 19-year-old, 21-year-old bitch that's is going to fuck my husband. You got to eat that, though. That's out of control, sis. Yeah, that's karma. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to fuck her up. But <laughs> I, mercy, I got to get make sure that I'm just... Coney Island hands are used. Do it. I know. Well, Lord, before we mercy. leave, Black, what about you? Have you like ever that. knownly... You you kind of hinted at that. Have you yeah, ever only yeah, money? Yeah, yeah. Why? Only why did motherfuckers you do it? I actually knew. Why did you that's do it? What? Because that's the worst. Know, because right? they deserved it. <laughs> but I hear a lot they, of dudes. They say deserved it. it. A, lot a lot of dudes. Lot of dudes you see, it. a lot of dudes get it confused. Like when you're involved, be focused on your woman. Mm-hmm. Be focused on her. Seriously, you gotta focus. You gotta. She's like a fucking the fucking SATs. Like you gotta know what the fuck is gonna be on the test, bro. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. When you don't know what's on the test, you don't know what you're doing. You might just be thinking mathematics, not thinking English, not thinking grammar, my, not thinking about the other shit that's on the the exam. So mm-hmm. the shit that you lacking is what she looking for. You understand? Mm-hmm. You got to know what's on the exam, bro. Because when you talking shit like, yeah, I got all the math right, all the math. My dude has one third of the exam. You have failed. Okay. Oh, that's a 33. I just want to let you know all that shit you talking. Mm-hmm. Come as a bitch, so somebody, somebody <laughs> looking at young nah, Susie. Like, worry about that. You shouldn't worry about that. Yeah, I ain't worry about that. Worry about that. Ain't shit. Listen, that ain't shit. Listen, somebody out there doing this dick. You thing shouldn't thing tell let you. me love you. I'm just one thing you know. I can tell you about young Susie. <laughs> she ain't no, she ain't no game to play. Yeah. Any man I think that about they woman. Listen, I don't give a fuck what every man thinks. I always say that. I don't care what every man thinks. Who you are, right? Listen, I don't care what you say. I don't care who you are. I always say this, right? One man's jump off. Is another man's His wife, wife, right? So there's always been one woman in your, and there's always been one man in your woman's life, but anyway, you know it's different, bro. Listen, I hear you, and you think because wifey is foreign that is different. There's always a dude who could always have that power on your wifey, B. You that's gotta be true. careful. That's if you two, listen, 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 listen. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something, yeah. Yeah, 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 me say yeah, something yeah. about having a, a fucking woman, not a girl, a woman, right? <gasps> Talk that. When you're invested, dog. Talk that shit. You're invested. Yeah. It's deeper than what you think it is. You understand? Yeah. One thing about one thing about one thing about roses. You give a girl roses. What, what was in the ground? What was in, what was in the soil to make it grow? You understand? Mm-hmm. I'm in the soil, my dude. I'm the sun. I'm the water. I'm in the soil. You understand? That's it's what different. I, that's that's what what listen. That I want you to listen to me. Because that's your it, mentality. It's different. You, you, I'm in the soil, my dude. You understand? So I'm not thinking like that because I'm invested all the way around. Yeah. I'm nowhere else. I'm invested on my every day. 24 hours a day, I'm invested. Mm. So at the end of the day, I'm not worried about all that other shit. Cause what I do is for her. What I speak is for her. How I envision life is for her. Hmm. So I'm not worried about the next hmm. man. The next man thinking about the temporary thing. I'm thinking longevity. But it's back hmm. to you, Holly. <laughs> talk that talk. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> you see, I'm stabbing him. I'm stabbing him. <laughs> well, you can. I'm going to skip to you. Talk to me. I'm going to kind of skip him. <laughs> Yo, let me, let me go on. Go ahead, go I'm going to kind of skip him and let the ladies answer this because he kind of did that whole monologue. <laughs> right? And it's. Do you believe your mate will remain faithful and not entertain inter- any sexual demons that's out there? Mm. In sexual Christ. demons? Yeah. <laughs> demons, temptations. Do I go first? No, no, you get skipped. Oh, you, all right, go I'm ahead. invested. Go I'm invested. I'm invested. So we're going to let the ladies go. We're going to let the ladies go. Oh, God. <laughs> so you too fine to be thinking your man going to cheat. Stop. Niggas cheat every day, yeah. B. This is true. This is true. That's it. This is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> And men, it's they cheat crazy. on Beyonce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you could cheat on, on B, Beyonce. hello. Whip your hand. How many Holly Berry husbands cheated on her? We, 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 All of them. Holly Berry's fine. Nah, but they cheat. They can cheat every day. 
Yeah. They do. And you could you could be the best woman to that man. They will cheat with some yuck mouth community coochie. Yeah. These they are They will facts. be the You My, could be the best. You could be the best. You they could have you could stand next to this chick and dudes will look at be like, he ain't cheating. No, he didn't. Mm-mm. And you be a like, dude, not every dude though. A dude can have his arm around not his shoulder dude, and his other hand is holding not another chick not hand, every dude, B. But I mean, if I'm being a hundred percent honest, I have I can't honestly say I know any men who I are faithful cheated. who have never cheated. I don't know any. And I have a lot of men in my life. How you doing, Toya? Nice nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Bro. Hello. You guys, you he is invested. I'm invested. Let me introduce myself. How you doing? <laughs> Z, it's on you, you, Z. You, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, well, then I respect that. I 100% respect listen, I'm that. I'm going to keep it all the way funky. You can find women You can, you can find women out there who might say, oh, your husband flirted, said something, you know, he gave me compliments. I'm a compliment person. But that's so. not cheating. That's not but cheating. You're not going to have nobody that could say, yeah, I che-, that could come up to wife and say, yeah, I'm effing your man or I effed your man. That's it's, the thing that these guys happen. don't get. Like, yeah. you don't ever give that to somebody somebody over your wife, your girl, mm-hmm. your wife, whatever. You don't too much give power. that too much power. power. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed yeah. to protect her. her. Yeah. You're supposed mm-hmm. to protect her. That's what Black was saying. Don't mm-hmm. But he's yeah. 100% right. Like, you're not you supposed to give her. nobody that power where She's they could come at her and be like, I was fucking your man. Mm-hmm. Well, he, I got screenshots once they, of this. Once they get I that, it's over. Once it, that. Yeah, once yeah. they get that, it's over. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And then the trust it's is over. gone. Yeah, I, yeah. I always yeah. believe, because screenshots are rare, I always believe, like, there's nothing that's going to be screenshot that I'm like, damn, it's going to break up my marriage. It's going to be stuff that, 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 that that's going to be like, you know what, you was too friendly was with too that much. person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you played much. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you? I you think too. that, um, I, I agree with Toy when, I think that, all dudes cheat. I mean, I think there's different levels of cheating. The fuck you mean all dudes cheat? They do. <laughs> if they don't, for this particular relationship, they did at some point. I think they all have cheated at some point. I think there's different levels of it. I think there's ones who, like, really slipped up, got caught in the moment, did shit, and was like, oh, shit, I'm never doing this again, baby, whatever. And then there's dudes who just fuck everybody all the time. Mm-hmm. And they can't stop. Or there's dudes who they have full blown relationships with other people, mm-hmm. and they have both of them. And they 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 just can't let it go because they want both worlds. They they're, they're just greedy. They want their cake and they want to eat it. Yeah. But um, and I say that too because I mean, a lot of my family. These are even the older men. Yeah, I've seen cheat growing up. I've seen them cheat. The one, the few cousins that I was like, oh, they're good. I have never seen them bring another woman to a family event. I fucking saw bring another woman to the family Yo, event. Island man, the island island man is I, I don't know if you, I, you have island background. Yeah. Island man was yes. straight up like, Yo, but, well, that, dude, that, side that of the woman's family, got my auntie. What is she yeah, doing yeah, at the barbecue? That, that side of my family is Chinese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and even my parents, like, even my parents, my father cheated. Like, it's yeah. just, it's just, like... I feel like I have yet to meet a dude who has never cheated. I have dudes who will say to me, oh, I never cheated on my girl, but I don't know you. I don't know what you was doing yeah. way back when. Yeah. There's every dude who I'm close with who I really know that is either family or good friends, they have cheated at some point. Okay. They, they, they'll they cheat here and there. They'll, um, it's just, and I try to get out of that mentality because I don't want to meet people or meet a dude for me to be in a relationship and be like, oh, like, you're automatically going to cheat. And I, I always give the benefit of the doubt when I first meet you. Like, I do tr- will trust uh, as far as the cheater until you give me a reason or show me something yeah. that I should question it. Yeah. But at the back of my mind, I'm like, you're a nigga. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, you're still a dude. I want to get Tanya <laughs> in. We're, we're coming close to the time, so I want you to answer so I can ask another question. All right, so <clears throat> my thing is I think every man cheats in some form. Uh, cheating for me is not exactly something that's going to be 100% sexual. Sometimes leading somebody on, having an appropriate conversation, sending an appropriate text, like going out, like doing certain things that is a girlfriend privilege or something that could be misconstrued. If it's a, okay, if it's something you have to explain to your girlfriend, it's not something you should be doing. Mm-hmm. Point blank, period. And a lot of men will put themselves in that situation. Yeah. Um, for me, personally, I... I always leave room for disappointment when it comes to just anybody, mm-hmm. like anybody. 
You never know. And this comes from, I'm a daddy's girl. My daddy's on my Facebook. Yes. Sorry, daddy. But growing <laughs> up, every single one of my gr- daddy's girlfriends had to pass through me first. And my dad was married. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm really sorry. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, so he, he was married, but if he had a girlfriend, she had... She had to come to me. I'm the baby. Don't trust these kids. No, these kids be lying. I used to lie for my dad. I used to open the gate late at night. I used to he used, I used to be downstairs. Daddy would be like, yo, I'm coming to the You're the most class. down daughter <laughs> in the history of down no, daughters ever. I was his right hand, and I was like eight, nine, ten at this point in time. So I'm talking about that. He used to be coming in late at night. I used to pull out all the phone, phone wires in the house. So when he called me to open the gate, I'm, my own phone is the only phone that ring in. Because that was, that was wire phones back in the day. That's true. I used to do that. Yo, I used wow. to do that. Dad. And anytime anyone, when he had his little girlfriends here and there, whatever, he'd take me to their house. They cooking for me. You understand? Like, I, I didn't have to pamper me because I was his baby. Yeah. And the thing is, get the kids to like you. But I saw these things with my own two eyes. So the, the the person I am now is like I put it past nobody. My father yeah. was I'm a great man. Nobody. He was a wonderful father. He was a good husband. But he was a sorry, daddy. He was a piece of shit <laughs> for, for when as it came to whatever. But Women. but mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. but my family was well taken care of, yeah. undoubtedly. Like yeah. it was, he was a, he, he still is a style worth man, yeah. but he just had nigga traits too. Okay, mm-hmm. so I, I'm um, cause we got time because we're running out of time. I'm going to say one statement real quick, and then the next question I ask, I want us to leave our answers to 30 seconds so that we can answer the question and then we can wrap up. So, ladies, doing that technical science shit about cheating, man. Don't 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 stress yourself too much about it, man. If it's not sloppy, just let it go. So the left, <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I want to save a lot of heartache, right? It's so, usually sloppy. Uh, so the they always last, make themselves the, get caught. The it's last question, the sloppy. last question on this topic, right? Is lately women have been joking about men sharing clothes and taking pictures with other men's cars and money. But if women have fake boobs and fake ass, isn't it all fair game? Aren't we all just trying to be lit? So is 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 there is there like a double standard or rules to like what we what we can do to floor us out because men might floor us with other people's stuff but y'all might have asses and tits that's wasn't genetically yours. Floor us with your own shit. Floor us with your own shit. You can't floor us with nobody. Okay, I know where we going with this. So what? <laughs> so, so what's worse, the oh fake boots, fake ass, or the guys who act like they got the bag and it's not their bag? Listen, I'm gonna say both. Now the woman shit is worse, so? B. You no, she got so? her receipt for her yeah, stuff. What are you talking about? Like, her care credit is in her name. You said that somewhere. You said credit is in her name. I had some my tits I'm flossing with. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so. I just mean, I, I just feel like that's something that as a woman you have to decide to go and do on your own. And when you go and do it, this is not a couple of hundred dollars that you're spending. You're spending a couple of grand. Mm-hmm. So if you got it and that's what you want to do, don't, I mean, t- i be the first one to say, I did lipo, I got my stomach done. Booty's mine, hips mine, titties mine. But the stomach, my st- I had fibroids. I went and got them removed. Mm-hmm. And once they was removed, my stomach was like, it, it wasn't looking like me. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, no, I can't do this. I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit vain. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be walking around with my stomach hanging over my pants. I'm mm-hmm. not going to be walking around sloppy. So that what? Then somebody, uh, it's like, okay, so if I don't, if I, if I didn't do it, then now y'all, and y'all see me with my fucking stomach hanging over my pants, then y'all going to be like, oh, toy fell off. She was bad back in the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, now she's just <laughs> exactly. So now when I go and get my, I go and get my stomach done. That's a couple of grand. You can't make me feel bad about nothing that I've spent a couple grand on. Okay. So <laughs> I, so you, you think? Because so, I want people to answer yes. And so you think the men is worse than the women thing? I think the men. I mean, some women. You know what I don't like about women? It's the. It's the build a body chicks. Mm-hmm. It's the <laughs> chicks that never had it, and then when they get it, or they never was hot, and then when they get it, then now they got this disgusting attitude. Oh, I'm the shit. Oh, uh, you know, like like the sun rise and set on their ass. But that I don't like. I don't mm-hmm. like that. I feel mm-hmm. like be humble. Okay. So. You- uh-huh. But I do feel like the men is worse. Mm-hmm. But I don't like the women that got mm-hmm. the nasty ass. Because I want I want all the. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> um. I feel like okay with the women. I feel like they you have anything for the, done. 
No. <laughs> it's all, no, it's all she's, natural she's you. Good. Yes. <laughs> you want to check for um Hello. The scars? We got to say that after the show. <laughs> I don't want to stop. Listen, no. I don't want to check. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. We ain't checking for nothing, okay? We ain't checking for shit. <laughs> We're not checking for nothing. But um, for, for the women, like, I don't feel um, necessary. I feel like it's different only because, like, well, I mean, some women do have dudes pay for their shit. So I guess in that aspect, it is kind of similar. But I feel like with dudes, it's like you're a man. Like, certain things, like... Achieve you sh- you shouldn't home. do yeah as a man like and I feel like home. and the only Set reason I the only reason I say that is like um like I feel like even if you don't have stuff you should have a, like okay a woman's body she can't change the stuff that a man has he can go out there and do things so that he can get his own stuff mm-hmm. he can do stuff to have a better um to make a better living for himself or or try to educate himself so that he can make more money to have the things that you want. But a woman, like, they do that because, I mean, they probably had insecurities or they just liked the way certain things looked without even being insecure. Not even that. Not only that, but having children will do yeah horrible damage to your, your body. body yes yeah. that is true do the interest of, for the yeah. interest of time yes, for the I interest do. of time I, black i, I want tiny to answer before we wrap up because <laughs> so we really got to wrap oh, yeah, up we so. to make sure. I gotta yeah. <laughs> what's worse the I men or the women same i think men are worse so you see all right mm-hmm. think of it this way i if i'm on my off for plastic surgery i go i pay my bill i get my body it's i wasn't born with it but i bought it you as a man go to the store buy some jeans buy some shoes it's yours <laughs> it's not like I go to my girlfriend and be like, hey, hold my tits for the night. Yeah. Or hold my ass for the night. I'm bringing it back in the morning and don't make sure you damage it. Yeah. It's a whole different level because it's mine. <laughs> it's, I, 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 it, I wasn't born with it, but it is mine. So yeah. you can't tell me I'm flawed or something that's not mine. I, got, I literally have the receipts for it. Okay, so, so I didn't grow it, but men- I literally have the receipts for it. I show you my care credit, I show you my swipe, my doctor did, my notes, my recovery. It is mine. I ain't grow it. But shit's mine now. Okay, so. You, a different level, if you want to literally take somebody clothes out of their closet, put it on your body, take pictures with it, and act like it's yours they when you got to give it back. I watch. can't give my titties back unless I go back to the doctor and take it out because I don't want it no more. So, it's like I'm taking it out and putting it in somebody else's body. I hate to, oh, shit, sis, I hate to like cut you got you no tits. I hate to cut you off. So you're saying the men is worse. Black <laughs> answer in 10 seconds, so you really got to wrap up. Yo, like, you know, everything's a fair game, you know what I mean? We all trying to be hot, you know what I mean? Some people hot naturally, some people even hot artificially. You know? It depends, <laughs> depends on what it is. I'm hot naturally, though, you heard? Okay. So I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna 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 to I'm gonna end I'm gonna the topic soil, by saying I think, soil, I think you the heard? woman is worse because mm. the <laughs> man, <laughs> you should love me for me. But the fact that you don't love me for me, I got a floss on your ass. Yeah, yeah. And that's the end of the yeah. podcast for this Sunday. Shit, uh, so, I like to thank you guys shit. for being great hosts. The show was lit. Th- ten seconds, if you want to say something real quick before we shut down, because we're running over time. Any shout outs, anything like that? Because we got to go. No shout outs. Just, um, fellas, be good to your women. Be like, like how Black just be said. Be the soil. <laughs> be the soil. Be the soil. <laughs> be the sunshine in the rain. Be what about, you, what about you, ladies? <laughs> Any shout outs? I got, I got one. Um, there's uh, my friend on IG is Gar- uh, Gasparillo Junction blog, and also um, I forgot my phone died. I had the Facebook, but so, check it out. And on I comment. You could post it. You could okay, post whatever. Okay, but check it out. Saying. IG is Gasparillo Junction blog. Okay. I just want to send love to everybody that always show me love. Yeah, we we got people that love you. People blew up my phone. Tanya's gonna be on the show today. I love that girl. I just want to say, keep supporting us. We love you guys. Brown Holy Water every Sunday, seven p.m. We lit. Keep supporting us. Yo, y'all already know what it is. Holla at Live if you want your shirt. Fifteen dollars. Holla at Live Brown. He not really on the show, but he's still on the show. If that makes sense. He's one of the extras on the side. You know what I mean? Holla at him if you want to. <laughs> Talk to me if you really want to. You know what I mean? Holla at la, get your shirt. Brown Hollywood a podcast. It's your boy Coney Allen Brooklyn. You already know what it is. More money than your Come pops. Come get baptized you every Sunday, 7 p.m. We out. I'm your father, you heard?